is Margaret Mentideri. I'm Miss Ghana 2017. I hail from the beautiful country of Ghana, located in West Africa. Honestly, it's a beautiful place. You should all come and visit sometime. Previously, I just used to do whatever I wanted. I just used to move wherever I wanted to go. But as you become a queen or as you are crowned, your life changes. You have to become more responsible because you automatically become a role model to the, to the youth. A lot of people look up to you. You can't just do what you want to do because you should know this little girl sitting somewhere is looking up to me to live her life. So if I go and do something bad, doesn't mean I'm influencing somebody young to do something bad, no. So for now, or till whenever, I have to be a responsible role model. The Miss Ghana Foundation is the charity arm of the Miss Ghana organization. We at the Miss Ghana Foundation are dedicated to helping the less privileged within the society. You have to um, be able to psych your mind to know that I'm going out to help people. It's not all about wearing the crown, going out, taking pictures, riding in fancy cars, traveling up and down. It's not about that. With Miss Ghana, it's about working, working to improve upon somebody else's life. Honestly, my dream has been and still is to be a lawyer. But I've always dreamt of being a pageant queen. And this is because it's a job where you are given the platform to help the less privileged within the society. Growing up, I was privileged with a good childhood. My both parents were there. Everybody was there to support. But it's not like that for everybody. So if you have the chance, like I have been given the chance to help somebody, just go ahead and do it. You get blessings from doing that. First of all, it's an honor for me to even think that um, being given this opportunity to represent a great country such as Ghana at the world level, it's, it's, not, it's not an easy thought. It's, 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 it's a huge break or a huge trophy being given to me. I train constantly day and night. I rehearse with my catwalk instructors. I rehearse with my swimming instructors. and. I rehearse with my speech instructors. I do so many things because I would not want to go and let my country down, my country Ghana. I would want to go and let everybody see the shining black star that is Ghana. So I will continuously train and train and train till I can train no more. <laughs> In my opinion, the Ghanaian fashion industry is continuously going through phases of modernization. There are men and women designers. But what I love most about the Ghanaian fashion industry is that it's not like men do men clothes and women design women clothes, no. You can find men designing women's clothes and women designing men's clothes. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that it's challenging. You don't sit and say, I'm a designer, so let me just do whatever I want. You would find yourself failing and falling in that industry. You should understand that in order to make your name in the Ghanaian fashion industry, you need to work hard, you need to push for your name to come out there. Like, for example, today I'm wearing uh, a design made by Aya, Aya's design. Although she is not a very known designer, but she just put in her all, you know, into this because she just felt, I'm designing. I never know where my design is going to go. So let me just put in my all. But I still feel that there's space for improvements. Yeah, so I just feel that more improvement can be done. The society we find ourselves in, every young woman is a fashion ad addict. <laughs> you can't go out on the street looking bad. You all, even if it's a random day, even if it's a random day, you have to look good. You never really know who you're going to meet on the street. You could become a supermodel over the overnight, so you always need to look your best, always. <laughs> Being invited to this event personally, for, it's an honor for me as a woman. I feel women should support each other. And once we learn to support each other, you will realize that we'll find ourselves climbing and going to higher places. We can't hate on each other as women. We already have um, things all around us and people not believing that women can. But once we know within ourselves that we can, we just need to tell ourselves that we can and we will. 
if you're going to do something and they say you are a woman, you can't, ask yourself, why can't I? Ask yourself, why shouldn't I? Push yourself to do whatever you want to do. And your fellow women should be able to support you and push you. And I'm glad to be here for the Women's Day celebration. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to support anyone who wants that support from me. <laughs> young girl or young girls watching me, I just want to let you all know that you are beautiful, you are bold, you are confident. Never let anyone make you think any less of yourself. You are who you see yourself to be, and you can be anything you want to be. You want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a queen, an engineer. There's no man or woman profession. You can do it. Get up, get ready to sweat, get ready to work, and go for it. Just say, yes, I can. Hi, I'm Margaret Derry, Miss Ghana 2017, and you are watching Africa 24.